Hi everybody, this is Papa Ray and Baby, and today we're going to show you how to make a Easter Bunny cake. Okay, so we're going to start out real easy by using a box cake. Those of you who are more uh, at home with baking can start from scratch, but we use at home where we're using box cake and uh, cake mix in uh, canned. Uh, this is a cream cheese flavored frosting. Some of the stuff they require is a three quarter cup of oil, one cup of water and three eggs generously donated by our hens. We're gonna mix all this stuff up according to instructions and then put it in these greased uh, cake pans. So let's get to work. Okay, we're back and we've uh, mixed everything in together to make our, our cake batter. And we're using a carrot cake flavor since it's gonna be bunnies. I'm not sure if that's funny or ironic, but uh, that's what we're using. We've got our pans uh, already greased with vegetable shortening. And next we're gonna work with this spatula and try to put an even amount of batter in each of the two pans. So far, uh, baby's helped by pouring uh, all the ingredients into the uh, mixing bowl for us and holding the mixing bowl while I'm using our uh, we have a hand cranked egg beater that I like to use. Papa, so what are we gonna do? So now we're gonna put this in those. So Ready? I, yeah. All right. So we've got the batter uh, distributed uh, evenly as evenly as we could get it between the two cake pans, and uh, it says to uh, put it in a 350 degree oven, and according to the calculations, it says. Two rounds. Looks like 35 minutes. Okay, get this. Okay, go ahead. Okay, tell everybody if it tastes okay. Taste is okay. Taste is okay. All right, so we'll see you after it comes out of the oven. Hi, everybody. We're back. The cakes have been baked successfully and we've already taken the first step in decorating we've cut one in half and put it together and you can put a little a little bit of a uh, frosting in the middle to kind of act like a paste to hold them together go ahead and stick it in there and get a little okay okay just, just rub it right there if I hold it this way let me help to smear it. Like that. Okay. Kind of like paint. Let me stick it. Get you back with this. <laughs> don't don't do my fingers. Okay. okay. All right. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna frost the entire outside with whatever color our bunny's gonna be. Our bunny is gonna gonna be a white cream cheese bunny. Hi everybody, we're back. We've got things frosted. We'll let uh, Baby go ahead and frost the extra cake pan there. And 
got the bunny cake frosted and all it needs is a couple of a couple of decorations okay I'm gonna use fruit snacks for his eyes and baby can go ahead and finish decorating her cake with a bunch more of the fruit snacks so just gonna pick one in go ahead however you like And we had bunnies that had red eyes. Ta-da! Ta-da, yeah. And you can use other things to make, um, to make their eyes and noses out of. Use your imagination. Gonna cut one of the fruit snacks into a triangle for a nose. Boop. There we go, so far. We've taken pink paper and Cut ourselves a couple ears, and thanks to the heavy layer of frosting I've thrown on here, uh, can use it like glue and spackle the ears on. Boop, boop. And if you need more, you can just use your icing spreader and put some more on there. Yep. So there you go. I see it, Papa. So that's our, that's our bunny cake. Now this is an easy one. If you look on the internet, you'll probably find some more fancy ones where they use uh, coconut flakes and stuff for oh, like a fluffier this? one. What do you want to do with it? It's covered with that yucky icing. Yeah. Lick, lick it. Lick it. Mm -hmm. Can if you want to. Don't get your hair in it. Is it any good? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, we hope you liked our video. If you did, please click like below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. And as always, thank you for watching this video. And we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.